In this video, I will guide you to migrate your applications to a new server running Coolify. First, I will explain how this entire process works, and then I will show you to migrate the applications. This is your Coolify server running your application, and you have a new server which has Coolify. To migrate an application to the new server, we have to deploy it on the new server first. Then we will back up and restore the database from the old server to the new server. In Coolify, everything runs as Docker container, and by default, everything stored in containers will be deleted once we delete the container. So to persist data, we will use Docker mounts feature. There are two types of mounts, bind mount and volume mount. With bind mount, a folder or file on the host system is directly mounted to the container. With volume mount, a folder managed by Docker on the host system is mounted to the container, and that folder will be inside the var, lib, docker, volumes, path on the host system. Migrating a bind mount is very easy. A bind mount will have absolute path, which could be anywhere on the file system. So you just have to copy the folder or the file from old server to the new server and configure Docker the correct path on the new server. Since migrating a bind mount is very easy and straightforward, I will focus on migrating a volume mount for the rest of this video. We have two servers, your old server and new server. The volume with your application data is on your old server. Now we have to start a temporary container and mount the volume inside the container. Then we have to perform a tarball which will give us a .tar file. Now we have to transfer this .tar file to the new server. Once the tar file is on the new server, we have to start a temporary container and mount the volume inside the container. Then we will restore the tarball into the new volume, which your application uses on the new server. This entire process seems very confusing if you are new to Docker, so I have created few scripts to make this process very easier. For this video, I have set up two servers. One is running on the IP ends with 240, and another one is on 244. Both server have Coolify installed, and each server can access each other over SSH, meaning this server can connect to this server over SSH using SSH keys. This is needed for transferring backup later on this video. I am accessing the Coolify dashboard over the server IP address with port 8000 just for this video, so that it will be less confusing for you to see what are the actions I am performing on which server. This is the Coolify running on the server with IP address 240. This instance running a Umami Analytics application, which I want to migrate to the new server, which is running on IP 244. If I visit the Umami dashboard, you can see it shows data that I have on the database. I added these data so we can be sure if the migration worked. Now on the new server, I don't have anything running except Coolify. This is a brand new installation of Coolify. First, we have to deploy our application on the new server. In my case, it's a one-click service called Umami, but for you it could be anything like a one-click service, a database, or an application from your GitHub repository. The Umami application is deployed, so I will log in using the default username password, which is admin and Umami. Here you can see I don't have any data because this is a fresh install of Umami. So next step is to migrate the database. I have written a guide for this, and I will give the link on this video description. On the guide, go to the three step and follow along with me. Copy this command and run it on the old server, which is the server with IP address 240 for me. This will create a new file called backup.sh and make it executable. Now I will open it with my text editor nano. This file is empty, so I will go back to the guide and copy the script content and paste it here. Now we have to perform the backup. So we need to find the name of the volume that we want to backup. We can run the docker volume ls command to see all the volumes, but an easy way to find the volume is checking the persistent storage page on Coolify dashboard. Here we can see the volume name. Copy the volume name and stop the application because the database might get corrupted if you perform the backup while it's writing data to the disk. Now on the terminal, we have to execute the script. To do that, simply type dot then forward slash and type backup, then press the enter key. It will ask to enter the volume name we want a backup. This is the name we copied from Coolify dashboard, so I will paste it and press enter key. Now it asks where we want to save the backup file. I will press enter, which will create a new folder called volume backup and places the backup file inside the folder. 
You can enter any path you want, but make sure to remember the path. The backup is completed, so if I now run ls, we can see there is a new folder called volume backup. If I list the contents of this folder, then we can see the backup file, which ends with the gzip extension. The next step is to transfer this file to our new server. Go to the fourth step on the guide. Here we will create a new file with these content, as we did before. Here you have to replace these values with your own values. First one is the SSH port of your new server, then the SSH user, then the IP address of the server, then the location of the SSH key. If you don't have an SSH key, then leave this as it is. For the source path, we have to give the path where our backup is on. I am on outside of the volume backup folder, so I have give the path as dot volume backups here. Then you have to set the path where on the new server this backup will be copied to. Now save this file and run it as we did before. The transfer is completed, so let's check the new server. Here is our backup file. Now we have to create the restore script, same as we did for the backup script. Now we have the restore script, let's run it as we did before for the other scripts. It asks the Docker volume name that we want to restore the backup to. We can get this name from Coolify dashboard. I am on the dashboard of the new server. First stop the application, then go to the persistent storage page and copy the volume name. Now paste the name and press enter. Now it asks the path for our backup. I am outside of the backup folder, so I just press enter which will use this as the path. Now it asks for the name of the backup file. For me, the file name is here, so I just copy it and paste it here and press enter. Now it asks if we really want to restore this backup, so just type Y. Now the backup is restored. If you have multiple volumes, then you have to do these steps for each volume. Now let's go to the Coolify dashboard on the new server. Right now, this application is using the volume we backup and restored from our old server, but the database details you see here are completely different from the old server. So we have to copy these values from old server and replace it here. Keep in mind that these options will only show for Compose-based or one-click service applications. So if you don't see these options, then don't worry. You just have to make sure you have set the database or your application login details as same as the application running on your old server. Now I will click the deploy button and visit the website. We can see the data from our server, so the migration is successful. That's how we can migrate application from one server to another server. This video took me few weeks to make because I had to test a lot of things and create the scripts on my own. So if this video is helpful to you, then please leave a nice comment below this video. Also, I have launched a roadmap website where you can see what are the videos I have on my content calendar. I will update the roadmap regularly based on the video request I get from you guys, so keep an eye on the roadmap website.